Got to worry about your training. Make sure you're ready. You can be a good fighter, but you've got to have a lot of balls to do bare knuckle. I'm not going to retire. The only time when I'm going to retire is when I'm dead. OK, break, 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 break. You're here for a fight, Jacko. Look up, lads. Let's go. Whoa. Bare knuckle boxing spans back to the 17th century. It is now a very fast growing sport within the UK, attracting men from all walks of life. Anyone who has got the guts, determination and honour can now step up to the mark. Welcome to the UK's very own Fight Club. Within South Yorkshire sits a small market town of Doncaster. Historically, it still belongs to Scotland as they took the town and it was never formally given back. I uh, went into foster care when I was approximately between eight and nine years old and that's when it all began. That's when I had my very first proper burnacle fight and that was a fight that affected me for 10 years. It, took, it affected me, it strengthened my mind over that 10 year period and uh, it's uh, a fight that I never forget. And that's when my hunger to fight began and everything started. When it comes to the opponent, I don't really mind who the opponent is. I don't mind how big he is, what weight he is, whatever, as long as I'm able to be allowed to have the privilege to step into the pit or the ring or the case to fight. And when I do, I just simply do the business what I need to do and just enjoy getting that fight done and getting that adrenaline through me. It's just the best thing in the world. Now I'm just going to get my jacket on, I'm going to go out. I'm going to take you where it all began when I was 12 years old. My very first bare knuckle fight. So, I remember that fight like it was yesterday. I remember every single part of that fight from beginning to end. Well, I knocked my opponent clean unconscious. So, um, from 1984 to 1986, I lived in this childcare unit, Crossdale Gardens. I was sent to the childcare unit because I was told later that I was uncontrollable and my mother couldn't control me at all. I was too hyperactive, too aggressive, too out of control. I didn't deserve to be in care, I didn't deserve to leave a family, but my family decided to simply abandon me. That's how I felt. Matthew's traumatic upbringing resulted in him going into care at an early age and then later on becoming homeless. He slept rough anywhere he could, including woods and even graveyards. This is where I spent two nights on the streets. I came here, wanted to crash out and the two guys here, just to the entrance here, and uh, they trapped me up and I didn't realise till later that they actually wanted sex with me, unfortunately. So I left and uh, went elsewhere. <laughs> so I uh, came back later and then everything's okay. So I went two nights here. Well, every day was a struggle. You know, I've always uh, struggled with most things when it comes to it. I've just persevered, never quit, just keep going. That's what I've always done. Even when I've been homeless, when I've been doing anything I want, I've always persevered. I got into uh, burnicle boxing because um, when I was a teenager, I was getting into a lot of fights, a lot of forced fights, where people would just simply attack me just for the fun of it, basically. So, um, in order to defend myself, I would defend my food, my bedding, and inverse bed sits, where it was real hell for me. So then, I, I then tried fighting back and enjoyed the buzz, enjoyed the, the kind of fighting. 
I forgot. I forgot. Um, what I've done is I, I've had to, um, after returning to the fight business, I've had to take two years to try and get myself fit to, to a point where I can actually step up into the cage or the ring or the pit. It's very important to me that I want to get back what I lost. Matthew's love of fighting helped get his life back on track and things are now looking up for him. This is where I live now, this is my house uh, in Conisborough. No. So it's a one bedroom flat. I'm really happy that I've finally got a place of my own now. So I'm just doing it up and, and working on it. So it's going to be a better times this year. This, 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 The Cotswolds is famous for its natural beauty and nestled within a sleepy town of Milton is a new and up and coming fighter. I came out of school when I was 15. Oh yeah, did a bit of mechanics, that didn't work out. Then I did a bit of chef course, that didn't work out. Started scaffolding and never looked back. Um, 17 years now I've been doing roughly. It's good for my fitness. Health uh, keeps me strong. Oh yeah, don't need to use the gym as much after doing a day's work scaffolding. Um, speed, yeah, I'm pretty quick. I've always always been pretty athletic and speedy. Coming out of a long-term relationship, Michael has found a new love of his life, Laura, a dental hygienist. I went to watch a bare boxing show and I thought it was going to be really horrible, but it was actually really good. So I obviously came home, told him all about how exciting that was. And he's like, bare knuckle, that's what I want to do. Oh yeah, my mum and dad like him. Um, I don't think they like, they're not into boxing of any shape or form. None of my family like fighting. I'm, I'm not like my family <laughs> in that, because I quite enjoy watching it. But um, yeah, they like him. He treats me well, and that's what's important to them. I'm happy. So yeah, he's a hard worker as well, which means a lot where I come from. Someone who goes out and works hard for a living. Um, someone who's got respect for their lady. Is he, a, is he romantic at heart? Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, nah, he's got his little ways. I don't, I do feel love. My girlfriend, she's, um, she's excited for me, but she's a little bit nervous as well. She's, she's worried, she doesn't, doesn't know what's going to happen, but I know what's happening. I'm winning. Miss, 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 miss. A lot of the lads he fights were a lot, bit, a lot bigger, taller than them, and they just keep him away. But just keep jabbing him away. Just keep him away. So what he's got to do, he's got to get in close. That's the way he's got to fight most people. So I'll tell him he gets him up against the ring here. Body shots, body shots. Then they bring the arms down, then over the top. So it's, 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 it's. What? It is, it isn't. Do I ever worry about who I'm fighting? I haven't really got time to worry about who I'm fighting. Just got to worry about your training. Make sure you're ready. If you're not ready, there's no point fighting. Three. 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 I fight anyone. Anyone within reason. <laughs> 20 stone. <laughs> Four. Four. Do you ever get nervous? Yeah, I think nerves. I reckon, I reckon every fighter's got nerves. I think without nerves, there's something wrong. <laughs> Three. Three. 
It's such a different thing than boxing. It is. Anyway, it's, it's the purest form of pugilism, vertical boxing. How it used to be, how it should be. You know, it's a different skill altogether. I wearing gloves on and bare knuckle boxing. It's completely different. People don't realise that until they get in their feeling. <laughs> yeah. Bare knuckle in general, I prefer to boxing. I think it's more of a man's sport. It's a gentleman's sport. It's uh, you put gloves on, you might as well go and have a pillow fight. Um, not, <laughs> not saying I don't like boxing, <laughs> but uh, I think it's a harder game with knuckles. Whenever I'm walking up to a ring, the only thing that I think about is the damage that I'm going to do to my opponent and to get that win. Coming up, will the new boy prove a worthy opponent? When it's the face-off and we're in the ring, he's not going to get a word. He's going to be reading my eyes and he's going to know he's going down. Coming up, will Michael be able to land that devastating left hook or will the cyborg live up to his name? When I'm in the fight, I really need to hurt my opponent and I feel like I need to damage him to get that win because that win is more important to me than anything else. I'm going to hit him that quick and that hard. He's going to think he's surrounded. When I'm coming up to my fight, all the adrenaline starts rushing, blood starts pumping through your veins. You just want to get in there and get on with it. You've got to try and find somewhere to box that extra tea stone he's carrying. When I get a call, either by mobile phone or by email, when I get a call to fight, I feel really excited because I know that I'm going to be learning much more in the fight. Yeah. Here we are. <laughs> nice country location, eh? <laughs> After training hard, the two fighters finally meet. We all ready for this? Yeah. That should be a good one. <laughs> Fair play. Do it. Uh, let's do this. Come on, lads. Michael, good right. to see you again. How you doing, you mate? Right? Right, bruv. You well? Yep. Ian, how's it going? Tiff, how you doing? Rods, we're going down here. This is where it's going to be. What I want to do to my opponent when I get in there, I'm just going straight in for the kill. He's going down. Don't ever feel sorry for my opponent. I don't feel sorry for him. I haven't got time to feel sorry for him. Getting in there, doing my job, and going out with a smile. Well, as soon as I get to either a venue, or when I see the ring, or the cage, or the pit, that's when the adrenaline really kicks in, and I get really pumped up, and I feel amazing. I feel like I just want to get in that pit and fight and do the best I can. Thanks, Ian. Appreciate it. Straight punches, straight punches. Stand off him, like stand off him. Straight punches and that left hook of yours. Yeah? Yeah, then I'll forget that. No. <laughs> Good lads to have you, when you're ready. <sighs> okay, lads. We've already been over the rules. Okay, keep it nice and clean. Okay, just boxing now and there. Okay, it's three times two minute rounds. Okay? So when I say break, you break. Stand back, okay? Okay, touch the Shake hands, good man. Okay. Ready? Okay. Knuckle up, let's go. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Okay, turn, Dykes. Go on, go on, go on. That's it, go on. Go on. Carry on. 
That's it, Dykes. Good boy. Go on. Good shot. Nice left hook. Keep on him, Dykes. Keep on him. Down the body as well. Good shot. Good lad. Yeah, break, move around, break, break. Dykes. Move around. Don't stand in front of him. Good shot. Hi. That's a nice break up. John, <laughs> look inside KG, mate. <laughs> Feeling all right? Yeah, it's Feeling sick? Yeah. Nauseous? Nah. Sure. Sleep. Sick for this. Happy to continue? Yeah. Okay. Okay, lads, let's have you. You ready to fight? Yeah. You ready to fight? Yeah. Okay, knuckles up, let's go. Come on. Good lad, I say. Shot. Fuzzy blocks. Hands up. Wait a second, whoa. John. Just stay there, you say. Yeah, I'm good. Sorry. I don't want to go. I keep going. So I don't want to do. Fucking boss to fall. Oh, come on. Yeah. Stand, 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 well. stand still for me. John, you got any vessel on there? No. Try it, mate. No. He's got any adrenaline. Thousand one adrenaline. Who hey, was that? I've got an adrenaline pen, but I ain't using it for this. Oh. Yeah. Oh, Let's look at it. Hell, man. Let's have a look. Let me see. Let me see. Let's see if the practice makes me have to have a carry on. I'm sure it's going to make a look. Just try and stay still a minute, man. I'm going to call it a day, don't you? That's fine, isn't it? It's not that bad. You've got a stitch you can just put in it. I'll put, I'll put, I'll put stair strips on it for you, mate, but I'm no. That's swollen up there, it's above um, the eye. The blood's going to go into the eye when you're fighting. The bottom one's swollen up as well. You get hit on that there, your eye's going to rip open and you could be out for months. I'm saying that you call it. He's a referee, man. No, I'm right. fucking gutted, but. That's the way it goes, buddy. Now you're in the game? Yes, it is, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. Get into it. Oh, man. Get it. Oh. Who's for you in a second? Hold on there, Dr. Thing. Put your hand down. Keep out there. He's definitely had a good opponent. He's definitely got his aim sideboard. <laughs> For a reason. Matthew. Matthew, mate. Okay. He's alright, Matthew. He's alright. Okay. Matthew Thorne's a winner on a cut eye. Thanks, lads. There's uh, it just doesn't seem to hurt. <laughs> Fair play to him. Um, got a bit for my second fight. Absolutely loved it. Can't get enough of it. Well up for doing it again. Shame I got put out because of my eye. Got to listen to the doctors. They seem to know the best. He's got a lot more experience than me. And I think the better men you fight, the better you become. There's no point starting fighting off all these little guys. Just chuck yourself in the deep end. Let's have it. <laughs> <laughs>
What the fuck's wrong with me? I know I could have done a lot better than what I did. He got a lot of good hooks in there. What's fucking wrong with me? Fucking footwork is shit. I've done so much better in my training. My pivot in my footwork was rubbish. Such good opportunities. Bastard. Because he's, he's a strong lad for his size. And I'm so proud that I've been able to fight him this time. You can't hurt yeah. him. <laughs> yes, I guess I can be hurt quite a lot. I've, I've been through it. I've been through it a lot. I've been through a lot of pain. And I love it. I can't get enough. No. Simple as that. Yeah. It's uh, definitely a good sport, isn't it? It's the best sport in the world. Nothing beats BKB. BKB, that is the sport of my life. That's my, my life. I think, dream of BKB. I don't think of anything else, man. It's just BKB all the way. I love my training. I think I think about training, training techniques, my running, my road work. I just think all the time. Every day, old, I'm always thinking more strategy, more technique. I'm really going to sort this bloody footwear back. How do you feel about each other now? Oh, be massive respect. More respect. respect for better him. friends after the fact. You know, yeah. good friends before the fact. Better, better after. friends afterwards. That is, the, that's the, the core belief of every BKB fan should have that core belief because that's how it should be. All honourable, honourable gentlemen, yeah. honourable sport. It is the best sport in the world. It is a true sport of kings, What makes a good bare knuckle fighter? I think someone with no fear. Someone that's willing to give everything they've got, go all the way. What, what makes a, a good Benico boxer and fighter is um, the good attitude, honourable attitude, always a respectful attitude to the opponent, to the ref, to the promoter and to the fans.